Yo, so this week's vlog is gonna be a van tour of my race van, but also we're at the factory. Let me know in the comments below what you want the next video to be about. Let's go check out my van. It's a Mercedes Sprinter converted by SC Sport Homes, and it does have a bit of a body kit. I bought this van secondhand, so it came fully kitted out like this. Let's go inside and check it out. In the front, We've got two seats, one for me, one for Emily. Obviously I left this van in Europe for the Super Enduro for half the championship, so it was nice, we could sleep in it and stuff like that. We've got cab lines all across the front so you can fully black it out. Um, it, when I first got it, it didn't have them, so I got them fitted. And they've been a, a lovely, a lovely um, addition. So you couldn't really use the front area when you were stopped and parked up because the seats swivel. I got these fitted afterwards and they've been amazing. The most important bit of this van is the garage, but we'll see that afterwards. First of all, we'll check the insides. And then this is probably my favorite bit of the van, which it's totally pointless, but it's got an electric door. And now I go to like my other van, I pull on the door handle and then stand back, but it never opens. So we have swivel seats in the front, so then the turn, so then you can fit four people in there nicely. It's got a nice little carpet on the floor. It hasn't really been cleaned because we literally drove to Italy yesterday. But come on inside and we'll check it out. The lights are all 12 volts, everything just runs off the solar panel. You don't literally need to be plugged in or anything. So these swivel, so then when you've got the cab blinds closed, then that'll take an extra bit of area because if you just have the curtains shut, it kind of makes it only this way back. That's why I got them fitted. They turn, this here slides out to make another bed, just like a little single. You'd probably have to sleep corner to corner. Up the top, we've got storage all the electronic stuff and stuff like that. So with this van, um, we have a water tank underneath, so you can see 30% water in this van at the moment. So you can pretty much be self-sufficient for two or three days, I would say, with a solar panel without plugging in. The only thing you couldn't use is the microwave, but it has got an oven, which has an underslung tank, so you don't have to need a gas bottle or anything like that. The gas oven works. We've got aircon. You do need to be plugged into the, the mains for that or the generator. This is the kitchen units. We have two hobs and you have your sink here so you can get all your cooking done. Here we also have this bit that pulls up just so and then you can cook a bit. Well, Emily can cook a little bit of extra stuff or when she's making teas for everyone. She loves making cups of tea, don't you, sweetheart? <laughs> More storage underneath. Down here we have a fridge, which is perfect. Keep everything cool. And it's a little freezer as well, so that works perfect. Up here we have the microwave. But as I say, you can only use that if you're plugged in or you have a generator. Then if you come through into this room here, so this is a full-size shower. Look, you can move around, pretty much do what you want in here. Then you've got a toilet there. You've got a wash basin that pulls down, so you can clean your teeth and stuff. Little mirror in the corner. So up here you have the master suite up on here, which is a double bed. This van has been fitted with an extra pod on the roof, so that gives you, this would be the normal height for where the bed would be. You get an extra five or six inches there, which makes that bed feel so much better. And honestly, how, how amazing do we sleep in here? Yeah, really good. We sleep amazing. Oh, and we've got what would be a wardrobe, but we've just got it for stocking food and snacks. They have the bed, look at that. You can kind of sit up, but not fully. It's got a wind at the back and lights in the ceiling, lights down the side. You've also got USB to charge your phone. It's pretty good, I like it over here, it's cozy. Right, so let's go and check out the main bit of this van, which is the garage. And you can actually access the garage through there. And forgot to mention it, we have got a TV, which I'm not gonna lie, we never use. Oh yeah, that was it. We did use this TV once when we were in Wales, watching the rugby, didn't we? We watched the rugby, a bit of Welsh TV. We didn't understand anything, but yeah. There's a table here, there's the table bit. There's a pool that goes in there. And you can just sit here, eating your pasta, looking at the view. Let's head round the back and hit the garage. Here we are. So in the back of here, you can get three bikes. At the moment, I've just got two. We've got the, the Weber toolbox that doesn't leave this van. It just stays in here the whole time. A hose pipe and electric hookup. 
You've got your generator here, which is what powers the aircon and the microwave if I'm needing it. Fuel cans, and then usually if I'm going to races, I have like just boxes, plastic boxes, real strong ones so they don't break that I just stack up in the middle with all my spare parts, everything that I need. On the top here, we've got handlebars and you've got the chocks just to level it up at races. So I brought these two bikes. This one's not done too much, I don't think. The tire's looking good on this one. But this one has been my practice bike recently. It's done quite a lot of hours and it obviously needs a new tire, which I'm gonna put on tomorrow when everyone arrives. It's Monday here now and it's a holiday, so can't get no work done today, which I'm a little bit gutted about. On the outside, we've got an awning. I don't actually have sides for the awnings, but it's fully blacked out. Obviously, I haven't had time to wash it since I got back from Italy. This is where you fill up your gas. You've got here, you've got an outside shower, or you could connect that up to your, your pressure washer if you wanted to wash your bike. So that is a tour of my race van. I hope you liked it. Please comment below with what you'd like me to do in the next video. And peace out and thanks for watching.